An Eclipse of the Sun Read to you by Carol Brigham On April 8, a total solar eclipse will pass over the United States. In a solar eclipse, the moon moves between Earth and the sun. The moon blocks the sun's light. It looks like the moon covers the sun. Totality In a total solar eclipse, the moon completely covers the sun for up to seven minutes. The time that the sun is completely covered is called totality. During totality, the sky gets dark like nighttime. The distance between the moon and earth tells how long totality will be. If the moon is closer to earth, totality is longer. If the moon is farther away from Earth, totality is shorter. In most total eclipses, totality lasts for three to four and a half minutes. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, scientists say totality on April 8th will be a little over four minutes long. Who can see the eclipse? The eclipse will start in the southern Pacific Ocean. It will pass over Mexico and move northeast over the center of the U.S. Then it will move over the eastern part of Canada. The path that the eclipse takes is called the path of totality. Fifteen states are in the path of totality. Over 32 million Americans live in this path. Millions more people will travel to see the total eclipse on April 8. People who are not in the path of totality can also see parts of the eclipse. Scientists say people can see parts of the eclipse in 49 states. Alaska is the only state that won't see the eclipse. Be safe. It is not safe to look directly at a solar eclipse. The sun can damage your eyes. You need special glasses or a solar viewer. These eclipse glasses are not sunglasses. Sunglasses will not protect your eyes from looking directly at the sun. Amazon, Walmart, and other companies sell eclipse glasses. Some of these glasses are still not safe. Official eclipse glasses need to follow strict safety rules. The glasses should say they meet ISO 12312-2 requirements somewhere on them. It is dangerous to use a cell phone, camera, binoculars, or telescope with eclipse glasses on. The lens can hurt your eyes. You can get special filters for cameras and telescopes, but it is better to just watch the eclipse. Enjoy the moment. Make a memory. Let the professional photographers take the pictures. It is important to protect yourself from the sun, too. Wear sunscreen and a hat. Wear clothes that protect you from the sun. If it is hot, do not get dehydrated. Drink plenty of water. Are eclipses rare? Scientists at NASA say that there are two to three solar eclipses each year, but there are only two total solar eclipses in a three-year period. Most of these solar eclipses are over places like Antarctica or the ocean. People do not see these eclipses. The next total solar eclipse will be over Greenland, Iceland, and Spain in 2026. The next total solar eclipse in North America will be in 2033. You can only see this eclipse in Alaska. The next total eclipse to cross the U.S. is in 2045. It will go from Northern California to Cape Canaveral, Florida. For more information about Easy English News and to subscribe to our digital version or paper copies, visit our website easyenglishnews.com.